Uh, ADHD YouTube channel and it kind of hit some points that uh, kind of hit me there um, so I've been struggling a lot here lately um, Internally in the brain. Uh, I feel like I've started a lot of projects. And not finished a lot. What I have quote unquote finished. Um, doesn't feel super rewarding. I feel like when I do accomplish something, it is mostly myself trying to reward myself, if that makes sense. It used to be enough, I feel like it's becoming less. So when I first started writing, my my universe uh, more specifically clockwork it was super rewarding realizing how quickly I was getting the writing done and uh, it started not being as rewarding um, when I noticed the process and and also the, the the writing was becoming a lot slower <clears throat> I used to when I first started writing um, it was possible to get uh, one or two episodes within uh, let's let's say one episode a month I think I got the first and second one maybe done the first month because the first one really wasn't an episode. It was a pilot. It was it was very very short. Um, but mentally, I kind of told myself this is good enough. When I get done with the entire season, I'll come back and I'll polish it up and in, into a real episode, which is exactly what I did. But. 
um, uh, kind of, <sighs> my brain works interestingly, um, so I, I mapped out, um, how long I thought it would take to get to where I wanted to, um, it's 10 episodes, <clears throat> so if I got w one episode done a month, then, worst case scenario, I should get done with the entire uh, season within a year, right? That's what seemed logical, but instead, <sighs> I got started, I think, around 2016, and I finished at the end of last year, so that was, that was about six years. That was about six years. I don't, I don't... <sighs> the process got more complicated because I like, I like pencil and paper. So, for a while there, that's what I was doing. And if I had writer's block, I would um, do it on a separate notebook. And that would all kind of get confusing, because um, sometimes I just get a, a whole new <laughs> notebook. So I have like five notebooks of just brainstorming. And if I want to go back to see maybe what I was thinking, it was a bit of a nightmare. Um, and then I had other goals, like I was going to upload a video uh, every week. And... Um, I would try to get video work, and that would be kind of hit and miss uh, constantly. Um, kind of for a while there, I had I had a normal human's amount of distractions. You know, I, I hung out with friends, I played video games, I watched shows. Um, I completely cut like basically all of that out of my life to try to speed up my creative endeavors. That didn't truly, truly start until maybe 2019-ish. Um, so it's only been three years of that. Um, I when when you just think like without like writing down whatever it feels like I haven't accomplished a lot I've been at CVS for four years I have associates People are constantly telling me to move out somewhere. Uh, you won't be successful here. Um, and that's that's where my my train track was going, but then the house thing happened. I feel like I'm having an ADHD moment, and my 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 brain spiraling. Where was I going with all this? Support. Support. Yes, I think that's where I was going. Um, so... <sighs> so, in my last video like this, I talked about kind of supporting your creatives with the business people. So you already know, I kind of suffer with feeling that I'm putting in more effort than the people I'm doing the projects for. But when I do my own personal projects, I don't really...
I don't know if it's ADHD or whatever. Um, I do have people, uh, well, mainly my wife and um, here recently, I guess, my mom, who ask me how they can help. <laughs> but at that instance, I can never come up with anything. Um, but I do feel like maybe there's an external problem in the sense that me feeling like I'm a failure, not meeting my own deadlines, and the little successes I do have. I can't make myself feel success from it. Um, I kind of recluse myself into obsessing over trying to obsess over new projects because I just don't feel engaged with the things that I did, but at the same time, I can't feel as engaged with other stuff because. I've already spent so much time and effort into these previous endeavors. I, I like seeing things through to the brain, but I can't 100% specifically say when this project will be done because I realize there's just no clear path. My path is so much different than 10 other people's paths. Uh, and I'm very analytical and drives me nuts. And um, every once in a while, little things will make me feel like I'm even more rushed and want answers on when do you think this will be possible? When do you think this will be possible? And I can't give the answers that people want. I'm terrified. I'm genuinely terrified of my passion. I used to not be. Here recently, I've been terrified. I'm terrified that I'm not doing enough and not soon enough or I just picked a path that was ine inevitable to fail. I, I don't have a cl clear support system that tells me Keep going. Um, good job on doing this or that. Even if I did hear good job, it doesn't feel genuine. It's usually clouded by a bunch of negative stuff. Which makes me feel like I need to focus on that negative stuff instead of successes and um, with the ADHD it's just so easy to spiral so I'm also kind of a bit of an empath so it's like everything I suck up leads me to neg negativity I I can't tell anymore. Um, it's been so long. But my thought process, my invisible solution is to reduce hours. And I had that for a little bit. And I do feel like I was happier. 
I also wasn't in that. <laughs> I want to say that's still the truth. That working full time is just taking enough of the energy and thought capacity that everything else is just completely impossible. I want to say that's the biggest issue of them all. But the longer it takes for me to reduce those hours, the more I'm terrified that it's something else. Like, if I do have days off, they just... They don't feel like days off. I am constantly stressing about being responsible. If I do something responsible, I don't feel fulfilled like I used to. And so, I mean, when I used to feel fulfilled, that would be enough to kind of make all those days I worked at CVS better. But it doesn't really feel fulfilling anymore. I mean, that's kind of how a lot of things have fell apart. Making videos for YouTube doesn't feel fulfilling anymore. I don't 100% know I'm going with this. I just felt like... Since I made a video about not getting support on other people's projects, that maybe maybe this would be a video on support on personal projects. I'm not sure. It was very last minute. My ADHD is kind of been thinking about how it would be nice if I made another video anyway. Actually, I don't even know, other than this video, when I'll be able to make another video. I have other ideas, but it's so hard to get myself to do anything. Um, with the first season of Clockwork, I had the idea of maybe in the meantime, while I'm trying to... <laughs> God, that. Get my film shit in order to make it into a comic book. But that seems like it's... It's flopped. I don't know. This video is already turning to be almost 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Don't know if this will ever make it to YouTube. But, uh, thank you for watching my rant if it does make it to YouTube.